Happy holidays. This is Rev D here with a 2016 year in message. 2016. My, my, my. What a year that I am sure none of us are going to forget. And as we close out this year in this holiday season celebrating so many things, I want to take us back to some basic spiritual principles. Today is the fifth day of Kwanzaa, New Year's Eve, December 31st, which is purpose. We must, we must stay on purpose. We're ending our Hanukkah season right now, and Hanukkah literally means rededication. It's time now to be in our rededication. We're in the winter solstice. We just finished Christmas. There's so many things that are going on now that are, are reminders to us to go back to the beginning to reroute and what it is of that we know. I had the extraordinary opportunity a couple of weeks ago to do a talk on the steps of the rotunda in San Francisco's City Hall. I was asked to speak about hope. And I'd like to recap for you a little bit of what I said then. I said that in the letters of hope was everything that we needed to know. The HO stood for keep our hearts open. Keep our hearts open. The P is perceive possibility and the E is to stay engaged. And that really is the secret to keeping hope or finding some hope if you can't find any. If you keep your heart open, continuously perceive possibilities and stay engaged. And you know that staying engaged could be the simplest of things. At times like now when many of us are suffering a lot of grief, maybe staying engaged is just something as simple as getting up, getting out of bed, taking a shower, and facing the day. Staying engaged could be something like reaching across the lines to people who might have voted differently than you in this political election, and there might be mm, a little bit of angst between you. Uh, staying engaged could be something on a world global scale, but whatever it is, don't quit. I am reminded now of the fire triangle, which is one of my biggest and greatest metaphors that I use. Whether we're talking about a fire in your own inner life, whether we're talking about a fire in society, a fire in a movement, a fire triangle, there are three elements in every fire. There's the heat, there's the fuel, and there's the oxygen. If you take away any one of those, you don't have a fire anymore. The heat is that stuff that gets us sparked. Sometimes the heat is wonderful and positive, like some passion or something that we are involved in. Sometimes the heat can be a little bit of what we feel might, might be negative. Sometimes that heat comes from angst. Mm, I would say this political season has been a bit of heat. Heat can spark, heat can motivate. So be weary a little bit about trying to get rid of the heat sometimes because it may not always feel good. It may be the dissenters. It may be something that seems to be a, lot, a, a little bit out of whack. Or the heat could be something that is deep down in your soul that's just burning and just wants to come out. But we have to have something that's sparking and motivating us. We need fuel. We need fuel. We need fuel mentally, sp spiritually, physically. There has to be activity in our life that not only is sustainable, but sustains us. And we need the oxygen. The oxygen is the air. It's that place of breathing. It's that place of, of inspiration. Inspire to breathe in. So make sure that as you're doing your dedications, as you're doing your new affirmations, as you're looking forward to what it is that you're going to be uh, committing to in your uh, New Year's resolutions, make sure that it is vision pulling, not just pain pushing, and how are you going to sustain it? What's gonna be that spark to keep it going? What's that fuel that's gonna be that day-to-day -day something that you can tap in and what inspires you? And on that note, speaking of inspiration, three weeks from today, 
one of my greatest sources of inspiration in the world. My friend, my mentor, Michael Bernard Beckwith is going to be with us in Santa Cruz, helping us to celebrate our 20 year anniversary. It's gonna fill up, you don't wanna miss it. Check out Facebook, check out our website, interlightministries.com. Um, make sure that you get your ticket. Happy New Year to you. Keep the faith, stay on purpose.